Yo, 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 what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Crypto Millionaire Journey. It's your boy, The Wolf, here. Ooh, yeah. Happy New Year. Uh, obviously, still in the <laughs> global pandemic and all that good stuff, but let's talk about the nitty gritty here. Let's start off by talking about and giving the congratulations, a moment of silence for the cryptocurrency market cap topped one trillion dollars uh about a couple days ago bitcoin 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 shot through its all-time high continue to rise through 30 smash through 30 and hit about all-time high of about what forty one thousand. actually it was forty one thousand nine hundred ninety one to be uh accurate and correct and i gotta say man ooh, looking here at some of these analysts statistics brought to you by livecoinwatch.com probably one of the best sites uh to really get the nitty-gritty uh when it comes to find those different gains rois and really just looking at charts being able to figure out which next position which entry you want to possibly potentially put some money in. But right now, last nine days, guys, Bitcoin's up over 201%. Last 30, almost up 80%, man. Like, this is insane. It's been, like I said, these last, about what, two months or so have been great. It's been great. Just been watching the market, reinvesting profits, investing money from the government, yada, yada, yada. But, of course, Bitcoin isn't the only star of the altcoins. Let's talk about some of these altcoins, obviously. I want to say, too, if your portfolio is diverse, man, ooh, you felt these gains in so many different directions. And that's what's kind of been nice for me, at least personally. Um, I actually didn't get a chance to really experience the last bull run we had back in... Uh, Late 2017, early 2018, I unfortunately got on the end of it and uh, didn't have to deal with a bear market for a while before we actually got to where we're at right now, where you're currently seeing. But let's go ahead and talk about it. You know, I'm going to go ahead and talk about, I would say the main cryptos that are in my portfolio that kind of did well for me. Ethereum's another one. Um, Ethereum almost got... Close to its all time high of 1432. Highest I think it got to was like around 1300. But again, last 30 days, man, whoo, 81%. Last 90, 108%. Last 90, 108 um, And I was buying a lot of F around the 400, 500 mark, which I would bought more, obviously. I feel like everybody says that. Um, but Ethereum, I, I knew there was a time in place that Ethereum was going to break out and get close to that all-time high. But again, with F2.0 dropping, a lot of DeFi tokens, I mean, you know, Ethereum's going to, I think they, Ethereum's going to have a good year. Um, hopefully it breaks its all-time high sometime in the next couple months. Obviously, we'll see. But yeah, Ethereum, man, has been another one that's been finally cracked out. Um Believe it or not, I talk about Litecoin. You know, uh, Litecoin's been doing solid. Obviously, look at the last thirty days here. Last thirty days, it's still up seventy percent. Last ninety, up one hundred and seventy-seven percent. But the last seven days, are actually down by eleven percent. So there are some players to be made. But um, even the last hours up three percent. But even Litecoin, its all-time high was three seventy-nine. Um, I'm really waiting to see if Litecoin can get back up to those 200 days. But, yeah, again, 
It was just at what 185 on the 10th. And now it's back down to one one thirty seven. It's been one thirty five. Again, this I'm definitely probably gonna buy some more more Litecoin at this price point. Um like I said, curious to see where Litecoin goes in the next, you know, or just I would say quarter one going into that quarter two. Is it possible to Litecoin get back up to the two hundreds and beyond? I was I'm looking for like at least like two fifty. That range, 225, 250. Obviously, we'll see if that happens. But again, Litecoin's been another one. I was buying around like the $100 range, 125 range. Uh, and then kind of just been reaping the benefits when it's been having these uh, these excellent little runs here. Uh, Cardano, 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 and Cardano, man. Cardano's been doing well. And um, I'm a little bad myself. For not buying more when it was at like the 10 cents, 8 cents, but whatever. Cardano currently right now at 29 cents. Uh, man, the runs it's had. <laughs> the last 90 days, 169%. Last 30, 91. Last 7, up 16. Last 24 hours, up 13. Again, all time I have about dollar nineteen, And I'm not really worried about Cardano. My whole thing is get more. Get more, get more, get more. Uh, curious to see, you know, where does Cardano go, man? Because again, Cardano had got up to almost about, about 35 cents back over here in what was that January 6th? Um, that was kind of like I think the highest it had went before it started kind of like declining and all that good stuff. But again, Cardano's been a great coin, obviously. I was a little, I was I was a little pressed for the issue a couple of times when I was making some moves for Cardano. If I was a bit, a bit, a little bit more patient, and I really just you know waited, or even bought more with the seventeen cents, eighteen cent range, and then went ahead and sold some profits, took some of those out. I was saying nice, pretty pretty nice on Cardano, but again, hey, we got a ways to go from its all time high, so. Um, I'm taking advantage, obviously, right now, especially with some of these coins that are still on their dollar, man. Um, a lot of these coins that are on their dollar, you can you can afford to get a lot, um, obviously, depending on your personal capital. But, uh, yeah, the ones that are on their dollar, I would say, are great, great ads. But you know what's another one I, I kind of kept my eye on, decided to kind of put it into the portfolio polka dot, dot here. Um Obviously, Dot's been doing pretty boo-boo in the last seven days. Uh, but the last 90 and 30, wow. The last 90, almost up 98. The last 30, about 70%. Uh, not too shab not too far off from its all-time high of $10.71. But, um, yeah, I would say uh, Dot has had a nice nice run. A nice, nice run. Um, obviously, right now, it's been... More so on the decline side of things, uh, it dropped tremendously now. Right now, currently eight bucks and thirty two cents. This is one I'm definitely going to <laughs> definitely keep my eye on, just for the fact that man, the the run it's had has been phenomenal. We're talking about a coin in December that was at four bucks and pretty much just doubled to eight bucks and got up to like I said ten dollars and some change, man. Uh, so dot dot is another one I add to the portfolio. Let's go ahead and talk about Stellar. Ooh, Stellar! Last ninety days, two hundred ninety-four percent. Last thirty days, sixty-seven percent. Man, last seven, fifty-three percent. Last hour, four percent. Last twenty-four hours, up twenty-seven percent. Again, Stellar. I was lucky enough to get. Some stellar at 13 cents, 14 cents, and then all of a sudden I wake up 30 something cents. I said, Whoa, 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 what's going on here? Obviously, the all time high is about 92 cents, but you best believe I got a lot of stellar in the portfolio. Uh, again, the run this bad boy has had, obviously, starting to trickle down just a little bit. Um, it did drop. To a low of twenty three cents, I think that was, I think that was yesterday. 
Um, like I said, again, <laughs> going to be watching Stellar to see, you know, where does it stop? Where does it land? Um, again, we're talking about I entered, I entered at 13, 14 cents, guys, and it just jumped up tremendously. Uh, I was trained on Voyager and was able to get a 100% plus ROI off of Stellar, off uh, a couple of other positions. Best believe I was <laughs> very happy. Oh, yeah, you know, we're going to talk about next. Them boys, Chainlink, Chainlink. You've been watching Chain League, or if you have any Chain League, you I haven't got the same thing. Y'all know how this coin be. This coin be all over the place. Last 90 days, up about 34%. Last 30, 15. Last 7, up only about 2%. But again, it's all time high with about almost $20. Right now, it's at $14.68. Uh, Chain Link's another one that I've been kind of just... Dibble and dabbling every time it gets to like maybe 13, 12, sometimes 11 if you're lucky. Uh, buying there and then kind of just selling when it gets to about 14, 15, 16, even the 17. Uh, you kind of got your options to really pick your poison. Tables profits out uh, at pretty much any of those prices, <laughs> um, depending obviously when you entered in, but. A lot of people are still talking about Chainlink. It's still got a long ways to go as far as exploding its price. Um, obviously, got a lot of Chainlink in the portfolio. Uh, now, if I'm not mistaken, I think you can stake Chainlink and earn more. So, a lot of different ways you can earn some link. Obviously, not just for my training, but uh, those of you that have been training this coin, I don't already know it. Chainlink's been gold, baby. Gold. Uh, I'm trying to think of some other ones. EOS. Believe it or not, EOS, uh, I know you might be thinking, well, it hasn't really done much. If you look at it like, you know, last 30 days, last 90 days. But for me, at least personally, been kind of trading this coin back and forth, been able to kind of just really get some around like the 250, 260 range, and then been able to sell off around that three bucks and some change range. Uh, I know it got up to almost four bucks. That was back on the tenth. Was that three eighty four? Uh, three eighty nine. Um, and then obviously it took a huge little little dump, little dump. Uh, if you look at the last seven and five days, last seven days is down about seven percent. Last thirty is down about five percent. Uh, but again, I mean, shoot. I like the Project EOS, um, and then also, too, for me, uh, when it comes to trading the coin, it's been a very timely coin, uh, especially when it comes to, I would say, maybe those more so like those midterm plays, holding it for about like a week or so, even a couple weeks, depending on uh, the type of returns you're, you know, might be looking for, but I would say EOS, man, has been, uh, has been doing solid, uh, and... We know that EOS still has a long way to go to even reach that all time high. All time high was like damn near $24. Um, but that's another one that's obviously in the portfolio. I actually did add some Tron in the portfolio, even though those Tron's performances haven't been the greatest. But I mean, last 90 days, up 9%. Um, I do stake Tron on certain platforms like that. So I am earning Tron on the back end of things. But I would say those are the main ones that at least me personally have been trading with and just kind of really being able to make some money, man, getting some profits. Um, Even Adam is another one. Oh, I, I, shoot, excuse me. I forgot about Dash. So Dash, Dash has been interesting. Uh, last 90 days up 78%, last 30 up 27%, last seven up about 40%. But yeah, Dash, man, Dash has been another one I've been kind of keeping my eye out on, trying to really buy it around like that $100, $110 range. Um, and then been selling it off like around the, you know, one, anywhere from like 140 and up. 
Uh, even right now, it's uh, current price right now is at one twenty five. Uh, but Dash, another one that you know, its all time high is about sixteen hundred forty two. So, you know, this could be a really, really great long term play um, if it's able to, you know, get back to those glory days. But as far as trading the coin, the last 30, even 90 days, it's a coin that you can hold and make some money on, man. Uh, I mean, again, Dash is another coin that you can stake, I believe, as nodes as well. Um, so you can earn Dash that way. But I got to say, man, um, during this bull run, uh, evolving as a trader, investor, Really being able to really take out profits when I feel like, you know what, this is a good high point. Let's go ahead and take out those profits. Let those profits sit on ice. And when we have dips like this or any type of dips, um, being able to take those profits and reinvest those profits um, and taking advantage and just pretty much being able to compound your profits and double all that. It's been nice, man. Uh it's also been nice to be able to be on this side of a bull run. Uh, still trying to figure out, still trying to predict, keep an eye out on when this bull run might, you know, potentially, you know, die out a little bit. I'm pretty sure there's going to be a time. Um, some feel like we might just keep running. I know there's a lot of predictions for the end of the year for Bitcoin. You know, we're hearing fifty thousand, hundred thousand. We're hearing some crazy numbers, right? Um, but again, it's just being able to be disciplined. Uh, you know, when you win, you got to take out your winnings, man. I, I mean, I got a, I got a couple of buddies that, you know, they get, I guess I wouldn't say caught up, but they're just in a complete awe of what the market's doing. And sometimes they don't always take out those profits and they just kind of just sit there and it's, which is, you know, Hey, not knocking it. It's a personal preference. But me, man, if you got winnings, I'm ta you got to take them. Because I think for me at least, and I'm speaking from experience here, there's been times where I didn't take advantage of taking out those profits when I should have. And then when it dipped, not being able to have the opportunity to double down, if not triple down, and get more on the climb back up. Because a lot of times, as you guys know, Crypto is very volatile. Um, so you're able to make these moves where, you know, it might drop 20, 30%, which, you know, look at the market cap. Market cap was at 1 trillion. Now we're at nine, 940 billion. Uh, so <laughs> we lost what, about, what is that, about 60 billion in uh, crypto by the last, what, well, maybe a couple of days? So that's 60 billion that's still. Is going to eventually come back because, like I said, stuff's down right now. Um, I'm very, like I said, I'm very curious to see how this next week goes as we are upon the halfway mark of January here. Uh, because I know some people are like, well, isn't it going to drop below 30,000? It might. Then again, it might not. I mean, I noticed F got as low as maybe what nine was it nine hundred yesterday? I gotta check this out because it seemed like F is really trying to make that uh push to stay over a thousand. Yeah, so um I'm looking right now. The lowest had dropped that was yesterday. It was hey, I got to nine seventy four and it hadn't gotten to nine seventy four or at least that range since uh, about early this month, uh, but it got right back up to a thousand. Obviously, we want to see where where does it stay. Um, what's it called? What's another one? F spin boom. Uh, Litecoin again. Watch watch your eye. I would say watch your eyes on Litecoin, Cardano. Stella, you know what's funny? I mean, I didn't mention this, but people have been making money off of it despite 
it not being, I don't know, really a use case utility to use it. Dogecoin. <laughs> Dogecoin had a penny uh, the other day. And my, oh my, that community, man. Whew, hilarious. They were geeked. Uh, right now it's about, what is it? Eighths of a penny. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. But uh, yeah, Dogecoin. I might, hey, if it dips a little bit more, I might go ahead and go ahead and uh, dabble on in and uh, see if I can go ahead and catch me one of those little bad boys. But that's all it's been about right now, at least for the last three, four months. It's been diversifying their portfolio and trying to accumulate more Bitcoin, obviously. Um, I got to say, guys, the experience, the being able to really rely on a financial instrument that's actually going to make me money. Um, it's doing things for me, changing my life, perspective, a lot of different things just for the fact that, you know, this is, we're talking about an untapped territory for a lot of people that are still, you know, kind of skeptical in the whole space, which is fine. Um, I wouldn't force or tell anybody to get into the space if you don't understand it. And not everybody might not everybody, everybody might not understand it, which is fine, which is, you know, cool. Uh, you know, I'm still going to be a crypto advocate, still try to get it out there as much as possible, try to share my experience. I mean, we're talking about, you know, I have, I've been using uh, my debit cards, my crypto debit cards a little bit more often, uh, especially especially my MCO card. Uh, I actually upgraded that again. I'll be talking about that on another episode. Just, just the different ways I've really found of how to really multiply or maximize my time using the app, using the card. I'm even considering about upgrading it again because uh, my current card tier, I have about 3% cash back right now. Um... But the crypto in the daily life, um, that's that's something that happens. Um, you know, I got crypto. I would say I got crypto everywhere, man. You know, there's so many different wallets, so many different use cases for different cryptos. Cryptos you can stay, cryptos you can earn interest on. So a lot, <laughs> you know, it's a lot. If you haven't really managed money before or maybe not have managed it, properly or correctly, I can tell you now, I was pretty trash at it as well, but I would say, crazy as might sound, crypto has been kind of teaching me just to, how to really manage, invest it, make it work, uh, you know, the ability to have, you know, multiple accounts just because you might use this account for something else, and that's kind of how where I'm at, you know, I use this account for this, this account for this, you know, I kind of trickle off this account to make sure it goes into this account. Like the breakdown of the system that I have created for uh my crypto and or just crypto and money because I actually been starting to dive into stocks and uh stocks has been interesting for me. Uh I probably only started trading with stocks about three months ago. And I'll really dive on that because I actually decided to get on Robin Hood. Uh, and get into that space a little bit because I know stocks a little bit more slower. Uh, it's not as volatile as crypto, so there's a couple strategies I've actually uh created through my Robinhood to really help with the stocks because you know Robinhood does have crypto as well, just doesn't have a lot of crypto options available, but they got options, and again, it's commission free. Anything that's commission free, sign me up. Um, but yeah, man. I mean, twenty twenty one. Again, we're. I'm trying to, really. Make that leap and uh, potentially go here full time with the social media, YouTube, everything, man. Um, that's really the goal. But as far as the crypto. Um, I'm excited to see, you know, what does it have to store for us for this year? 
again, uh, I did not see this coming. I mean, I saw the run coming, but I just didn't see Bitcoin just blowing past 20,000 like it was nothing. And then almost pretty much blowing by 30,000 like it was almost pretty much nothing. Uh, so it's been good to see that. And then again, it's just been good to really get some high ROIs here in the last about two months. I mean, put it like this, y'all. The pandemic was not here right now. I probably would be in a different country right now, having a great vacation, all off crypto, of course. It's always off crypto. Uh, but sadly, right now, you know, we're still in the States here, stateside. Well, that won't last for long. Hopefully, this disease and virus gets, you know, they finally get the hang on, handle on it. But I believe that's going to really wrap it up, at least for this episode. Um, I've been been, been, been busy. I can't, I can't even cap to y'all. If you're one of those people out there that, you know, have a nine to five and are doing side hustles or just doing, or you're involved in multiple things, it's, it's, it's rough, man. It's tough. You know, obviously there's no excuses, but as far as being able to, you know, get the content out, always edit things, those, those are time, very time consuming, but you know what? Go ahead and got me an upgraded studio now. Got me some new stuff, some new gear. So got some things. You probably heard of some other episodes. I've got some things, man. Got some things. But again, it's just like I said. The boys out here working. Um, shout out to all those that are out there working, grinding. I know y'all on your own, own marathons. Uh, try and get the bag, man. That's all. That's, that's what it's all about right now. Is trying to get that bag to where I don't have to be at the nine to five, where I can just do this all day, all day, making content, sharing insights. Probably trained a little bit more. Uh, I not really put. That's the crazy part. I'm not putting in as much time. I think maybe as I would like to, for trading. But I'm still be, being able to get profits, get high gains, high returns, doing it, I guess, at, you would consider part-time. Would I like to do it full-time? You betcha, but I would. Still need a setup for that full-time. Need come monitors. You know, I just got me a new monitor that's coming in, I think, in three weeks. I'll give me another monitor. But trust me, y'all, when I say this space is, <laughs> it's, it keeps you going, man. There's, I feel like there's so much that, at least for me, I haven't probably learned or even gotten a chance to research on. Because, again, there's a lot of a lot of projects out there, man. We're talking about a lot of projects. And all those projects, you know, take time. You know, I got to do research. Um, some projects will... <laughs> I know, prime example, uh, you know, you got Upland, which is this pretty cool little real estate game. It's like a crypto real estate game. It's been a minute since I've been on there, but they've been upgrading the game. You know, they got San Francisco open. They got some new cities open. So now it's like, I want to get back on that game. But then there's a lot of other just crypto blockchain games in general where you're able to make money or just earn and again it's it's all time consuming but we're gonna go ahead and wrap this one on up um appreciate you guys tuning in to the to the cast uh like i said we gonna have i'm gonna have some more for y'all it's it's been a grind but you know what marathon for this year man especially since covid and not being able to travel at this point, I think we got to go all in. Uh, being all in is going to only get you to where you need to be. And at least for me and where I'm at and where I want my channels to go. Yep, I think it's that time. It's that time to go ahead and really just go all in and just try to give as much as I can. Um... Uh, I also did, I kind of took a little break from the YouTube channel. Definitely about to be adding a whole lot more content 
to that as well. A little bit different contact, um, but still all gonna be all good. Like I said, I got a new studio. I'm about to I'm about to get it popping, y'all. I'm about to get it popping. So, you know, tune in, subscribe, yada yada yada. Um, if you guys have like questions, messages, um I'm going to try to drop a link, so if you guys want to send in, like, anything, I go ahead and put on the cast, answer your questions. Because I do get questions a lot, especially on my Telegram or off my YouTube channel. Um, and I don't mind answering questions, man. You know, I'm out here to help uh, in any way I can. Uh, but as you guys know, the podcast is available on Anchor, Breaker, CastBox, Google Podcast, Apple Podcast, Overcast. Pocket Cast, Radio Public, and Spotify. And as y'all know, this is your boy, the Wolf of Crypto. And uh, until the next cast, y'all, like I always say, don't invest what you're willing to lose. Trade safely. Remember, trading is not for everybody. Me, personally, I'm by no means a financial advisor. So the stuff that you hear me talk about, You know, if you happen to use it and the results don't come out to maybe your liking, again, this game is not for everybody. But if you're one of those ones that's willing to learn and don't get emotionally attached, you'll make some money in this market or any market for that matter. Uh, But this is the Wolf Crypto signing out. Again, thanks, you guys, for tuning in to the podcast, and I'll see you all later. Peace.